Next Chapter Podcasts presents the Play On podcast series, Pericles, Episode 3, Let Punishment Continue with a Kiss. For the best listening experience, be sure to use your headphones or earbuds. Now, let imagination have its way. Here's Pentapolis, and our king's the good Simonides. <laughs> and I'll tell you, he has a fair daughter. And what do you know? Tomorrow is her birthday. And there are princes <laughs> and knights coming from all parts of the world to joust in a tournament for her love. The motto is just, in you lives my hope. Hail, princess! Oh. Then honor be my goal. I have a chance to change my luck with nothing but my lance. Greetings, Your Highness. Greetings, good King Simonides. You have my humble thanks, good king. <laughs> Knights. <laughs> to say you're welcome is superfluous. Make way for mirth, for feasts should be enjoyed. You are princes and my guests. But you, my knight and guest, I give to you this wreath of victory and crown you king of this day's happiness. <laughs> it was my luck, lady, more than my skill. Call it what you will, you're the winner. I trust there's no one here who'd begrudge you. When she made artists, art herself decreed to make some good, but others them exceed. You did that night. Now, come, queen of the feast, for that's what you are, daughter. Will you sit? <laughs> <laughs> you honor us, good King Simonides. Your presence gladdens me. Honor we love. He who hates honor hates the gods above. Sir, sir, your place is there. Somewhere else is more appropriate. Uh, uh, don't argue, sir, for we are gentlemen. We aren't the kind who, if we lose the prize, envy the great or would the poor despise. <laughs> you are such courteous knights. Sit, sir, sit. <laughs> now, Jove, I ask, since you are king of thoughts, why can't I dine when he is sitting there? By Juno, who is queen of marriage vows, why can't I taste a single thing I eat? My mouth wants him. Sure, he's a nobleman. Oh, he's just a country gentleman. He's done no more than other knights have done, broken a lance or two. Just let it pass. He seems like diamonds when compared to glass. This king's to me the mirror of my father, wherein I see the glory he once was, when princes sat like stars about his throne, and he was like a sun they could worship. But now his son's a glowworm in the night, who only shines in darkness, not in light. Do you enjoy yourselves, my knights? <laughs> How could we not in your royal presence? <laughs> then, with a goblet filled up to the brim as you love her, ah. lift it to this princess. <laughs> we drink this health to you. Ah, we, we thank, thank your grace. grace. But wait! That night sits far too melancholy, as if the entertainment in our court was not enough to warrant his applause. Did you notice, Thaisa? What is it to me, my father? Uh, pay attention, my daughter. At times like this, a prince is like a god who gives the most to those who honor him. So, take his cup and fill it to the brim and say we lift our glass of wine to him. Alas, my father... It is not my place to show a stranger knight such a bold face. 
<laughs> he might mistake my offer for offense, since men view women's gifts as impudence. What? Do as you are told, or I'll be angry. Now, by the gods, he could not make me happier. And also tell him we would like to know where he's from, his name and parentage.、Mm. The king, my father, sir, has drunk to you. I thank him. Wishing you a long and healthy life. I thank you both, and toast you in return. And also asks that you would let me know where you come from, your name and parentage. My name is Pericles. I come from Tyre. My education's been in arts and arms. I came to seek adventure in the world, and by the sea was robbed of ships and men. A shipwreck was what drove me to your shore. Oh. He thanks your grace.、Mm-hmm. Calls himself Pericles,、mm-hmm. a gentleman of Tyre. Oh. Who only by misfortune on the sea, ships and men lost, was washed up on this shore. Now, by the gods, I pity his misfortune, and I'll wake him from his melancholy.、Mm-hmm. Come, gentlemen. We, we've sat too long at table. We waste the time that might be better spent. Your suits will suit you for a soldier's dance. Pericles, this lady needs exercise. Daughter.、Uh. <laughs> Thanks, gentlemen. You've all done very well, but you, Tyre, were the best. No. <laughs> And now conduct these tired knights to all their separate rooms. You, sir, will be directed near my own. I am at your grace's pleasure,、mm. princes. It is too late to talk of love, though that's <laughs> what I know you're thinking of. <laughs> so, may you all go now and take your rest. Tomorrow, <laughs> there'll be time to do your best. <laughs> <laughs> But Lord Hurricane, my lord, the truth can now at last be told.、Mm. Antiochus was killed for his incest. <gasps> the gods would not be satisfied with less. They couldn't withhold vengeance any more for such a heinous capital offence. So, when he rode his chariot in state, all flecked with gold, his daughter by his side, lightning bolts fell and fried them one by one.、Oh. Like so much grease, they stank beneath the sun. Now those who used to fawn and kiss their feet. Won't even scrape their remnants from the street. It's all so strange.、Mm-hmm. And yet, only justice. For though he was great, how great is any lord when heaven, roaring, takes her just reward? Huh?、Uh, it is very true.、Hmm. Lord Helicane, a word. With me, with pleasure. All is well, my lord. Not well. Our grievances have risen up, like water that soon overflows the cup. Your grievances, wrong not Pericles, the prince you love. Don't wrong yourself, then, noble Helicane. If our king lives, then let us salute him, or know at least the land he's gone to grace. If he is in the world, we'll seek him out. If he is dead, then let us find his grave. Oh, that he is dead seems likely by this time, sir. 
You know how to rule us? Take control. Uh, we want your guidance. We'll submit to you. Long live Helicanus. Ah, uh, ah, uh, for honor's sake, hold off on this a while. Another year is all I ask of you, that we might wait for our good king's return. <laughs> and if he doesn't come in twelve months' time, I'll take on kingship's yoke in all good faith. But if I cannot coax you to this course, go search then, like the nobles that you are. If you should find our prince, bring him back home, and you shall sit like diamonds in his crown. It's fools who will not yield to certain wisdom. Huh. And since Lord Helicane has asked us to, it seems the time to travel is upon us. Mm. Ah, then all is well between us. Let's take hands. When lords unite, a kingdom ever stands. Oh. You there... My daughter's letter? Here, my lord. Ah, uh, she tells me here she'll wed the stranger knight, <laughs> or never more will view the morning light. She doesn't care if I approve or not. <laughs> Though, as it happens, I commend her choice. <laughs> but here he comes. I'll play with him a while. Sir, Lord Pericles is here. Mm -hmm. All blessings on the good Simonides. Hmm? Ah, to you as much. Uh, sir, I am in your debt. I thank you for your sweet music last night, sir. You are music's master. Of the least of all her scholars, my good lord. Let me ask you one thing. What do you think of my daughter, sir? A most virtuous princess. And she's fair, too, is she not? As a fair day in summer, wondrous fair. Sir, my daughter thinks very well of you. I so well that she wants you for her master, and she will be your scholar. What say you? I'm not worthy to be her schoolmaster. She disagrees. Just read this letter here. <clears throat> What's this? She writes here that she loves the Knight of Tyre? Does this king seek my life by some dark snare? Oh, do not try to trap me, gracious lord. I am a stranger here. Mm. I've suffered much. Duh. I never aimed so high as to love your daughter, and all I've done was meant to honor her. You have bewitched my daughter. You're a villain. By the gods, I never did. Not even in my thoughts did I offend her. <laughs> I have not sought her love by any deed or risk affronting you in any way. Traitor, you lie. Traitor? Yes, traitor. If it were not a king who called me traitor, I'd throw that lie right back into his face. Now, by the gods, I have to like his courage. My actions are as noble as my thoughts that never indulged in base desires. I came to your court to fight for honor and not to undermine your majesty. <sighs> if anyone has spoken out against me, this sword shall prove my honor and his lie. Really? Oh, here comes my daughter. She will bear me out. You, who are as virtuous as fair, assuage your father's anger with the truth. Did I solicit you in any way, or talk to you at any time of love? Why, sir, say if you had. Far from offend, it would have made me glad. What? So, mistress, now you think you can command. Uh, what? what? I'll tame you, and you'll be subject to me. What is this? You think... Though you have not had my consent, you can bestow affection where you will? Um, and on a stranger? What is... Therefore, my girl, my guest, um, I now decide. My sentence is that you be... man and bride. <gasps> what the... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, my rule is harsh, and so I now command you seal your penance with your lips and hands. Let punishment continue with a kiss. Oh. Oh. May all your marriage trials 
end like this. <laughs> well, are you happy now? Yes. Hmm. If you love me, sir. Even as my life or my beating heart. <sighs> so, are you both agreed? Yes. yes. If, If it, it please your, your majesty. majesty. It pleases me so much to see you wed. Hmm. I'll send you off tonight to your shared bed. <laughs> <laughs> Come. Let us not waste time. Come. <laughs> Now sleep makes still the festive house all's darkness every candle doused the only sound the well-fed snores of wedding guests behind closed doors the cats with eyes like burning coals sit sly with patience at mouse holes and crickets in the hearth sound sweet as cooling ovens lose their heat so hymen brought the bride to bed where by the loss of maiden head a babe's conceived and now attend we'll vault the time we needn't spend While in the womb his child is curled, his lords have searched across the world. They failed their quest, but still reports from Tyre finally reach the court of kindly King Simonides, who hands him letters where he reads, "Return to home is overdue." His pregnant wife begs she go too. He cedes to her with anxious heart, and so with sorrow they depart. Like order her nurse she takes and so to see the great waves break against their ship the weather turns and soon the sea with fury churns their salt streaked vessel ducks and dives no! No! watch out watch out they cling and fear for all their lives at the center of the sea the lady screams the child in me help her And labor turns its mortal vice, her belly's wrapped as birth pangs slice, her body like the ship is pinned, the storm without, the storm within. Help her! Help her! I won't relate what happens then. Imagination needs again to see the ship all brined with tears, where sea tossed Pericles appears. Oh God of this cruel vast! Subdue these surges that wash up into heaven and through hell, lock up all your winds. In shackles bind the forces you have called up from the deep, and still the deafening thunder as you quench the nimble flame of lightning. Oh! How, Lycorda, how does my queen? Oh, you vicious storm! Will you destroy yourself? The seaman's whistle is like a whisper in the ears of death unheard. Diana! I pray to you, goddess of all birth and midwife gentle to those that cry by night. Come here to us and board our seething boat. Come ease the pangs of my queen's labor. No, my corridor! How does my queen... The Play On podcast series Pericles was translated into modern English verse by Ellen McLaughlin and directed by Lisa Rothy. Episode scripts were adapted and produced by Catherine Eaton. 
Composer, Rindy Eckert. Sound designer, Jane Shaw. Sound engineer, Daniel Ben Shimon. Executive producer, Michael Goodfriend. Senior producer, Miriam Lauba. Managing producer, Robert Cappadona. Coordinating producer, Taylor Bailey. Casting by the Telsey office, Karen Castle CSA and Ada Karamanian. The cast is as follows. Keith David as Pericles, Kathleen Chalfant as Gower, Johanna Day as Lycorida, Diana, and the Baud, John Keating as Helicanus and Philemon, Jenny Greenberry as Marina and Antiochus's daughter, Amy Kim Watsky as Dionysa and Thaisa, Jeffrey King as Antiochus, Simonides, and Pander, Barzan Akavan as Saramon and Thaliard, Tommy Schreider as Lysimachus and Leonine, Benjamin Bonenfant as Bolt, Messenger, Fisherman, Knight, Pirate, Sailor, Servant, and Lord, Orlando Pabotoy as Cleon, Messenger, Fisherman, Knight, Pirate, Sailor, Servant, and Lord, Christiana Clark as Messenger, Fisherman, Knight, Pirate, Sailor, Servant, the Ship's Master, and Lord. Additional support was provided by voice and text consultant Rebecca Clark Carey, equipment and recording engineer Tommy Freed, the senior manager of business operations and partnerships at Next Chapter Podcasts is Sally Cade Holmes. The play on podcast series Pericles is produced by Next Chapter Podcasts and is made possible by the generous support of the Hits Foundation. For more about the play on podcast series, visit playonpodcast.com where you'll find interviews with the artists, producers, and engineers who brought it all to life.